The Big Break Legacy is brought to you in partnership with the Department of Trade and Industry. Last week, our entrepreneurs had to prove their social development skills in Alexandra. Their task was to identify a need at the Tucson Youth Center and sustainably meet that need by making the most of their human assets and talents. Abongile, the blue chip, was allowed to choose which area of the Tucson Youth Center his team would work on, giving them an advantage from the start. Abongile and Mfundo from the green team both came up for review. Ezra and his board felt that Mfundo did not demonstrate strong entrepreneurial capacity and he had to leave the boardroom missing his chance at the big break. Meanwhile, Lebohang shone in the challenge and the judges named him the blue chip. He won a night out on the town for the whole team. We're halfway through the series and five contestants have already packed their bags. The seven entrepreneurs still in the running can almost taste that grand prize, a five million rand investment into their business. But there can only be one winner. Only one will walk away with their big break. Business ideas and opportunities are everywhere, but it takes a certain kind of person to spot them. It takes an entrepreneur, someone who can recognize an opportunity and turn it into a successful business. South Africa needs world-class entrepreneurs. The Big Break Legacy is going to find one. From thousands of hopefuls, 12 of the country's finest entrepreneurs made it through. From all walks of life, from all parts of the country, all with one thing in common. The drive and ambition to convince our four board members that they should be the winner of the 5 million rand investment prize. The Big Break Legacy. Sales is an important component of business. You can have the greatest idea in the world, the cheapest product and the best service, but if people don't buy it, your business will fail. You have to make people want to buy your product or your service. It's all about value for money. Today, our entrepreneurs will face the sales challenge of all sales challenges. I'm Masa Chabalikalake. Welcome to the Big Break Legacy. This week's entrepreneurial skill is sales. Good morning. Good morning. If you look around you, what do you see? Big green field, empty seats. Empty seats, Paul. It's exactly that. It's not uncommon for any professional soccer league game to be played in an empty stadium. Your challenge today is a sales challenge. You would have to make sure there's bums on every seat for a game that's happening Wednesday a game between Vets University and Maritzburg United. This stadium capacity is 5,000, but we ask of you to sell only 3,000 tickets. The tickets would be sold to a value of 30 rands. You need to create value for your tickets. Because unless people see value in the product or service that they're buying from you, they will not buy your services or your product for that matter. The challenge for you is which of the teams would sell more tickets than the other. You're not selling tickets per team, like Maritzburg or Wirtz. You're selling tickets to the game. These tickets can only be accessed in tranches of 500. Every time you get an allocation, you sell that 500, you bring back the money to the board, to purchase another tranche of 500, you go and sell, you bring back as many as you can sell. The blue chip from the previous exercise, Lebu, Lebu, please come forward. Congratulations on being a blue chip. Thank you. You did absolutely well. The color of your team would be? Orange. You want an orange? Yeah. We get to choose for you which team you're going to work with. And for this exercise, you will work with Sean, with Macy, and with Paul. But you also have the advantage of starting this challenge with a thousand tickets when the green team is going to start with 500 tickets. When we announced that it was just the three of us, I was all right. Actually, I was excited because of those individuals because I understood their expertise. So I knew even if we were, it was just the three of us, 
would make it work. Working with Macy for me is a challenge, but also an opportunity to, to better myself from the, from the first experience and the second experience. I mean, this is the third experience that I worked with her. Of course, we never send you out in the field without any resources. And for you to meet this challenge, you will each have a Chevrolet car, utility cars to run around with, as we always do. You've got MTN airtime vouchers to the value of 2,000 rands. Each team would have that. Orange team will start with 1,000 tickets. The green team, 500 tickets. The Fundi, A.B. Mkhwatsane, CEO, Ogilvy, South Africa. He played a, a, a very critical role in organizing the opening of the 2010 uh, Soccer World Cup use these resources very carefully. Remember your race is against time. You're selling and selling as much as you can before five o'clock on Wednesday, on the day of the match. Three things that we are going to be evaluating. Sales, value for sales, bums on seats. Do we have to sell them at the recommended price of 30 Rand or can we sell them for a bit yes, more? Yes, it's at the recommended price of 30 Rands. Yes, Ron, I'd love to know a bit more about the merchandise and, and what resource, actual resource we have at our disposal when we're creating value. The merchandise would be things that people use when they go to a, to a game, caps, t-shirts, water bottles, umbrellas, and all of those good things. You can have the best product, the best service. If you don't sell it properly, it's pointless. Bottom line of what makes any business tick is sales. Good luck. To figure out what they're selling, who they're selling to, and the challenges of selling the tickets, the teams will meet with the manager of the Bidvest Vitz team, the man who knows the most about the teams and their fans, Mr. George Mukhozi. So what kind of entertainment do you have when you've got games? We can bring the dancers, we can bring the ball jugglers, we can bring anyone who we think that he can come in and entertain the supporters. Is there anything in the past that just brought loads of people, not because of the club that's playing, but because there was something special going on? I mean, we are only here for football and nothing else. Has this uh, been chock block once on the opening match? Since I've been here, we have never had a major opening. Like, let's say we played Kaiser Chips of Pirates. And you know, when it comes to, like, your beverages, what happens? We call them the Mamas. Okay. They're having health certificates, which when the match commissioner or a guy from disaster management can come in and say, can I see it, you see it? Yeah. And then because you see they sell papa and, and, and meat and some other things. Thank, thank you, Brad George. Thank, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah. Let's make history and fill this. No, 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 fill it then. You fill it, you'll get something. We're gonna fill it. go, except for the fact that I was like, I knew someone that had a helicopter, let's take that opportunity, let's ask him if we can take the helicopter. Can we just review what the Sorry. value is that we're providing with the tickets other than the soccer game? It's the? We can give them t-shirts. T-shirts? Yeah. The first okay. thing is we're going to get a helicopter ride. I was happy about everything that we are doing so far. I mean, even if we disagree, we disagree to agree. I would love to us to support the people of Tucson, maybe. Get a transport. I can try and raise that one. The parents might not be happy because if the children get back at 12, they are coming back from a game here. Uh, when is the, I, can I, I, can I, what time does it start? I, I just want to get there. Unfortunately, Lebohang is someone who can just raise his voice and say whatever he says and throw 10 trumps and, but yeah. I'm happy because I'm learning to live with people like him. I'm a sister. It is very far. It's not. I, I mean, I've never I been traveled there. there. Can I just make advantage uh, of give me using the people that I know, my community? Whatever that okay. we sell. Le, so, can I just talk for, for a minute? No, let's try to work together as a team and have objectives and have a plan, a solid plan. We're a good team. Um, 
we looked into the possibilities and the means to achieve the goal. So the corporate one is like a package deal for a hundred bucks where you sponsor a school kid or an amateur player mm -hmm. to go out for an evening, um, <clears throat> get a meal, get transport to and from the game. I knew Abonile, outspoken, speaking the truth, uh, Graham with his strategies and me with my energies and creativity would make it work. So the payer gets, you know, the great CSI intervention at a pretty decent cost and they also get to promote their brand because they'll obviously kit the kids out and all their corporate branding so that'll be on site and it's, they'll get seen in the branding. Now Graham with his administrative strength and his strategic thinking was definitely invaluable to the team in being able to set up what we saw as the project plan for the execution. Is, is 30 Rand a kid a reasonable estimate for transport? If you hired a bus for 50 kids, could you get that for one and a half or two grand? It's pretty important because we've got to start selling. I think the mere fact that we would say, look, we will put something towards it, or i.e. you will get something out of it, and the ad expo uh, exposure mm. in terms of participating, i.e. you're yeah. doing also a service. Yeah. The teams know when they have one minute left to brainstorm when the lights begin to pulse. With only one minute to present their ideas to the board, both teams will be under more pressure than a striker in a penalty shootout. Hello, guys. Hey, 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 board. Three blue chips with one double blue chip in this team. Isn't that interesting? So this must be a powerhouse, eh? Dream team. Sean, you have to step up to the plate. I have to step up. Yes. You know what the challenge is? Yeah. Who's presenting the plan? Lebo, please do, do, do the presentation then, OK? Uh, we as the Orange team have created value for our tickets. A helicopter ride, raffle, a goodie bag, two song dancers will entertain uh, uh, the supporters. Distribution channels will be internet, food, sponsors, and corporate. Also, we'll be distributing our tickets through uh, local shops and local restaurants, Sakumzi, uh, uh, guest houses, even in Whitbank. Also, in the future, these events can still use those distribution channels in the future to sell their tickets at a fee, of course, later on. I may be mistaken, but I get the feeling that you don't have a comprehensive idea of what's going on in the market and understanding why don't people attend this? Why don't they go? Why don't they watch the game? We sit in a country which has invested so much yes. in, in infrastructure that's sitting out there idle. So in your plans, help us be able to showcase how, for example, we can make use of the stadiums that are there. I mean, yes. we have a, a World Cup legacy here that we need to capitalize on. I'm not sure if that's critical, gentlemen. The, the brief we gave the teams is that they must, they must sell the tickets, mm -hmm. they must create value, yeah. they must put bums in the seats. Mm -hmm. How they do that is really up to the teams. Have you done any homework in terms of understanding who will be playing? What's so unique about some of the people that will be playing in this game? Because again, that could work in your favour in terms of trying to create some value. Well, this is the oldest club in the country, as uh, I've been told, and so they've got a long tradition, so we, perhaps we can tap into that. I think you guys need to go back and work your plan out. Right now, I'm not impressed with what I hear. It's not just value that's important, but also sustainability. For me, sustainability is what you do once you've done the basics. Okay, what I realised when we were walking around asking questions, the basics weren't there, i.e., public relations and marketing. They just went for the easy solution and the idea behind all of these challenges is to really get these guys to think further and to stretch them. Yes, there's excitement around organising helicopter rides and but it's it's short term and I'm, I'm not impressed. If people are prepared to pay the 30 rand it's because they, they feel that they're getting value however they package that value mm. and that they do in fact attend the game, then they will have met the, the brief, quite mm. frankly. You want to see innovative ideas of how to come up with a solution, you know, that is self-sustaining. Mm. Because ultimately, that's what we want to see. Next up is the green team. Hello, guys. Hi. Hi. We're clear on what the challenge is, eh? Yeah. 
Trust who's, who's presenting the solution? Please, present the plan. Okay. You've got one minute, Sevenzilla. All right, go All for right. it. Um, our plan is to, is to sell to two target audience. The firstly is the business sponsorship. Basically, they're going to be sponsoring township um, soccer players as well as high school students. What's in it for them is that they get an opportunity to expand their CSI program. Number two is PR in terms of um, branding as well as uh, uh, exposure on social media as well as on uh, student radio stations. The second audience is the individuals. We're recruiting a team of salespeople where we're promoting entrepreneurial skills. Um, they're going to be selling 30 rand tickets at 50 rand. Okay, why would an individual buy a 30 rand ticket for 50 rand? There's going to be over and above the actual live game, there's also going to be a, a CD launch from Soul Candy, which is a popular uh, music brand amongst the youth. Where we're going to be getting these individuals from um, call centers as well as uh, colleges and universities. Thank you. Mm, thank you. We give you a prize. The price of the ticket is 30 rands. And you go and you sell it at 50 rands. What do you do with the 20 rands? It's a sales incentive to, to create micro entrepreneurs on campus so they'll receive a 20 rand commission for every 50 rand ticket they sell. They ordinarily wouldn't be able to do that, but as Seb's pointed out, we're creating a, a high value event through the CD launch. Are you looking for an investor? Yes. <laughs> Very good job. I like it. I just need to understand one thing in terms of your research. Do you understand why people are not going to these games? The people that we spoke to around, around you know, soccer fans said, if I'm going to watch a game, it's got to have Kaiser Chiefs or Orlando Pirates. Mm. Yeah. I, can't, I can't watch a game if it doesn't have those two teams, especially live. So that straight away said to us, it's not about the football. It's, so it's an all-round entertainment yeah. or CSI package rather okay. than a football experience because it looks like mm. people just don't want that football experience that much. If we get motivated salespeople who are thinking, I can make 500 Rand, I can make 1,000 Rand, we're basically outsourcing that problem solving to them. I mean, there's three of us. Mm. So we're outsourcing that difficulty <laughs> to them and putting, holding that carrot in front and saying, you want the 500, you want the 1,000, do what you need to do. In terms of employment, you know, incentivizing people mm. to, to do something extra for that extra income. Mm. Yeah, that's brilliant. Mm, interesting. You still need to flesh that plan out, mm. guys. It doesn't mean that we bought into it. Mm. Go flesh your plan out, back to your think tanks. Well done. Thank you very Thank much. You. The presentation was great. It was well. We thought we would do it, and it was doable. You know, we had already contacted Soul Candy, so they were on board. We spoke to the guys from Vits, and they were also on board. These guys have just come up with an absolutely thinking. simple, original idea that is potentially sustainable. If you look at this, it was genius. And you get entrepreneurs, and then you get entrepreneurs. You get A players and B players. These guys are clearly a players and I think it was absolutely brilliant that they also made the connection with the band so there's an emotional connection yes. as well and they were able to articulate all the abstract ideas and make it tangible brilliant our assumption was that the your immediate market are your vet students mm. and they had already done research mm. to find out mm. that tickets are being handed out for free so mm. don't waste your time there go yeah. to yes. the next immediate target market, which is UJ. This is what we've been saying all along, that the big break is about out-of-the-box thinking, and we just mm. got the taste of that. On the UJ campus, Graham and Sebenzile go in search of some advice. We have been tasked with um, filling up a stadium for uh, an upcoming PSL game okay. between uh, Bedford Vids and Marysburg United. We usually uh, sell the tickets from UJFM. We have like pre-activations. Mm. So we have a DJ outside and, you know, basically get the crowd over there. Unfortunately for Macy, there is no I in team. On Sunday, Sunday I managed to, to sell 100, fortunate enough. I managed to secure a sponsor for a helicopter as well. So, so, sir, hello. Can, can we it's use not we, I, rather. it's we. We, you did not, we. I mean, it's all we. You, you no, could I'm talking about the people now as a team. Yeah, no, when you say I, uh, you're talking about you. The green team seems to be taking a corporate approach. The way our package works is that people buy a set of, of basically sponsor 50 kids to go to the game at 100 Rand each. That includes meal, transport and everything. Our approach was we want this to be something that's sustainable, something that can be adopted by anyone and run with it. We are addressing <coughs> a 
challenge for South Africa. Do you think we could have done any better if we had actually gone out and went to the taxi ranks and and tried to, 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 to palm off tickets? That wouldn't have left any, any mark, mark or given thing. any learnings or created anything sustainable. This time there's no I, it's we as a team. The orange team have taken a more personalized approach. It takes a lot more legwork, so let's hope it's all worth it. Thank you, sir. They were also appealing to companies to sponsor student tickets. You've got my commitment and my buy-in. I'm happy to take 100 tickets from you. Their next stop is to meet with Zola Majavu, ex-CEO of the PSL. A new mode of park and rides. All of these things uh, can, can be experimented upon and they have a direct impact on, on, on feeling our students. Good advice is never wasted on our orange team. Is the green team on the right track? Let's see what our fundi says. How can we best achieve uh, sponsorships for, 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 for this kind of initiative? Make sure that you get coverage in the media. Take that to the corporate. So the corporates don't only get a nice warm feeling and a belly because they're supporting a social initiative. This is a concept that see, any corporate who's interested can actually buy and run a business. The second day begins with both teams setting up base on the MTS campus. The green team is still trying to sell their initiative to corporates. The orange team set up and continue their strategy of face-to-face -face sales. Respect United. Thank you so much. See you tomorrow. Yeah, I've been walking around and, and pitching at groups because it's a lot easier than a lot more people listen. Transport seems to be an issue. Um, studying seems to be an issue, and also just lack of cash on, on them seems to be issues. Paul is working the crowds, hoping to put bums on seats. And the big prize for that evening is going to be a helicopter ride around Joburg. Selling to cash-strapped students can't be easy. 15 bucks a ticket if the two of you pull in together. Yeah. Both of you can come with only 30 Here right. yeah, at the vet stadium. Getting the kids to the stadium needs careful planning. That's seven buses just seven times three grand. We should probably just try and go for the whole 10 piece group. Abongile heads off to begin scouting for young soccer fanatics to be part of our exciting PSL match. I've got 200. Yes, the, the one I had, we emailed, had 512. 522. We wanted kids to be exposed to the football game. With Bramaik and Braje, it's clear that it's something that's needed within the community. Nice to meet you. We actually gave him the task to run with it, and the numbers were important in this specific task. Back at Vitz campus, the crowds were being entertained while the orange team were doing some hard selling. Tickets for the soccer tomorrow. Ten run for soccer, in more entertainment. Yes. Okay, now this is all well and good, all this is enter entertainment. How sustainable is this? It is sustainable because right now we're getting the students from here. They must because they are walking to us to, to the stadium. It's easy. There's no transport stories. There's nothing. The orange team doesn't seem to be completely clear on the sustainability of their plan. Hey guys. Around now for Hi, Mr. Chairman. How are you guys doing? Uh, we're doing all right. Doing all right. Yeah. Fantastic. We've got fifty thousand rand that people have given us. Mm -hmm. So the number of kids that gets there depending with, depends on the prices of first thing. So we okay. know what the ticket costs. So you've been given fifty thousand rand by yeah. loads and loads people. of different people. Yeah. Oh, fantastic! I really trust that you're going to do well. Yeah, yeah. we're pushing hard. We're going to make it. Happen. Nice, wow. nice one. Just shop, shop. All right, thanks. So the green team is using sponsorship to get the children from disadvantaged communities to the soccer game while the orange team is focused on more traditional sales. Tomorrow is match day. Let's see how both teams do. The orange team seemed focused and full of energy, but Macy was nowhere in sight. I mentioned a few times she's not around. Where is she? I tried to get hold of her many times. I was fed up with Macy. Do you want to go home? What's the story? Because... No, I'll see. You. I'll see you. I'll let you know. While Macy rejoins her team, the green team were going over last minute details. I'm happy Graham came across as the leader, but I suppose it depends on the aspect which was being allowed or being perceived as being key. Access to bits and it's parking at bits. <gasps> yeah. I totally forgot to put a George, totally. <laughs> 
No, that's why we got checklists, dude. We don't know exactly how many kids we're expecting at each venue, so we're going to manage that by just going to one venue at a time and ensuring that we don't go over the total number. While the Orange team continues to sell tickets and rake in the cash, Macy leaves the team hard at work and decides to go to the hospital. I was becoming more dizzy. I don't know, maybe it was because of the sun, the adverts. I was on the sun for quite some time. I think it might have affected me. Before we make any decisions, let's just call Macy and see if she's available for communication. Has Macy come out yet? Not yet, I'm still waiting. I'm still waiting. Do you know what's wrong with her? I don't know, because they've done some tests, you see? Can you ask him to go check and find out? Yeah, Tommy, people? can you go inside? Because we are getting slightly worried. She's been in there for a long time. How's it, guys? All right, Zizra. Zizra. Good. Good. good, good. How's it going, eh? Are we pushing, all right? Are you pushing? Are you pushing? We are yeah. pushing. You're making sales, I hope. Making sales. You are? Yes. yes. So, how many tickets were you guys able to sell? We sold about 1,200 tickets. She was busy. She's not feeling well. She's not feeling well. Last night she was in a very good mood, and yeah. then this morning it was, it was tired of oh, weather, sorry. so we, okay. we're conspiring. We're trying to think she's putting a sickie. To me, that's not allowed. Okay. When you are in your, in your team, in a team, if you've got nothing good to say about a team member, you shut up. No, nope. sorry, we didn't know. You understand? Yeah. Okay. For me, that does, just doesn't cut it. So let's avoid that, right? Okay. That comment that Ezra made, it actually just uh, hit the nail on the head. And I was like, you know, it's actually so true. You, you shouldn't speak bad about your teammates in front of uh, um, someone that's going to be judging you. Hello, guys. Hello, hello, hello. Hi, Ezra. Hi. How are you? How are we doing? We're doing well. Thanks. And how many tickets have you sold now? 570. So you were left with 430 tickets? We actually bought an extra 100 only after the 500 because we were... But why, why did you buy an extra 100? Because I told you guys that you, these tickets come out in tranches of 500. That right. was the arrangement, wasn't it? What yeah, happened to the idea of students selling for you guys? Did that work? There's a lot of very high quality free entertainment on campus at yes. this time of year. So we, we immediately realized when we started working on that that so it was abandoned that. And you didn't improvise to actually deliver on the mandate and the mandate being getting bombs on seat. Five hundred and seventy tickets is not good enough guys. That is not good enough. I expected a lot more than just that. I think every plan, no matter how good, has to change when it meets the real world. And when you're working with time constraints as we were you have to make quick decisions. The grounds are being laid, last minute preparations being made, the excitement is building up and both teams are preparing for the soccer fans' arrival. Even Macy couldn't resist returning for the game. Welcome. Thank you. How are you feeling? I'm not well. So, so what, what was the issue? No, I can't say this. is uh, oh, private. Yeah. After all, Macy organized a real treat for the crowd. Miss PJ Powers. Hello, how Good are you? Good to see you. Good things. Hey. How are you? I mean, you called me this morning that you're coming. I know, oh, I know, but the traffic, I nearly but didn't make it yet. Graham was preparing the green stall. They're only 360 seconds in an hour. Oh, really, Graham? So for us to get all our kids in in an hour, we'll have to do two a second. How many kids do you have with you on the bus now? Yeah. Oh, we'll put drive. Where yeah, are the right. coordinators on board? Yeah, Mabafa is on here. Where's that bus going? That one? So we are doing with some, you know, Murphy's Law, drivers not in buses. Missing drivers and general confusion is not a good sign. Back at Vitz, excitement was building as students began arriving. We got this huge walk-in with the guys, they did this whole chanting. You know, it made great, you could, I could see Graham's face quite nervous. The green team's young soccer fans begin arriving at Vitz. Graham's concern was overshadowed by the increasing amount of fans coming to show their support. Out in the field, Sebenzile was definitely pushing in, noting where we needed to be, what we needed to address. Uh, Mike is not certain about the number. So let, let me call you once we get there. However, Graham is becoming increasingly concerned that the numbers they were expecting weren't showing up. While our teams worry about sales and objectives, 
The crowd loses their worries and gets ready for a great match. You went for what I would say maybe was a riskier strategy. The one that actually crossed the divide between business and community. With all the green team's careful planning, things do not seem to be going well. But Mike, yeah. I've got five empty buses. Yeah. I need adults who can fill those buses. The green team is still in search of a crowd. The bus is too empty. I've never had so far. That pickup should be like double the numbers, you know. And he said, no, I mean, we're expecting um, about 40, 50 kids. I'm like, what? We've got 40 minutes to get to the stadium. Abonile should have gone there and actually made sure that we secure those numbers. The last guys are just actually leaving Tembisa right now. It's been a bit of a delay. For some reason, uh, some of the, the participants haven't touched up, so we're going to be a bit short on our 570. But, uh, you know, I think it's still going to be a lot of fun for everyone. Ezra wanted bums on seats. That's exactly what he'll get. It's kickoff time. Finally, the green team's crowds start arriving. The orange team is in high spirits as they collect stubs. As predicted, Macy's people from Vitbank are not only last, but also late. You guys know you've got 15 minutes left, uh, eh? Yeah, they're here at the court. Where's the court? The court is in Bramfontein. Did they get lost? Yeah, yeah they got lost. <laughs> Children have arrived and can't wait to get to the match. So it's all coming together, the children are here. Yeah, it's very nice. First pickup location, everything went very smoothly. The second pickup location, there were supposed to be 150 kids there and there were 20. Nothing seems to be dampening the spirits of the singing crowds. You're back in one piece. Yeah. 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 Finally, the green team were reunited. You guys had a bit of an adventure. You know, quite a scare. The green team may not have the numbers they hoped for, but they got the crowd in on time. How you doing? Look, all the kids have arrived, all the buses that you were waiting for. They've arrived. It's good to yeah. see a clean table. It's clean, it's clean, clean, clean. Ezra has called five minutes and the orange team is struggling to get the last of its supporters in on time. But as you can go with. Time is up for you, hey? Finally, everyone is in and the atmosphere in the stands is filled with energy. bring what we would classify or call in this, uh, well, call underprivileged. Those were the people we need to inspire. And out of the few that we did manage to get there, I think the team stuck to task. What is the greatest lesson that you've learned over the past few days? I think it's that you can have the best idea in the world, but if you don't just do absolutely everything to make it, make it crystallize in time, then you're not gonna you're not gonna realize the full potential. How are you going to make sure that they continue to come to the games in the future? Well, we 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 got the student uh, student um, SOC involved as well as the heads of the different hostels. So they're in charge of steering the different uh, hostels to the different activities. And so now that they're involved, we're hoping that they can take it forward along with Katu, who's managing the entire uh, BitFest. Bit. And more, how did you guys approach this task? Tell me about your planning, your organizing. How did you make sure you actually executed on your plan? Because uh, there were a number of people in our group that had major contacts to get sponsorships for the local residents to come through. So first of all, was getting those sponsorships in so we could allow these guys to come in at a reduced cost to experience what it feels like to be at a bit game was treated not only to a great match, but to great entertainment. The two teams were tasked to fill up bums on seats, and they've done an absolutely good job. But at the end of the day, it's all about who sold the most tickets.
tickets. So we'll have to wait and see if that After an incredibly successful evening, it's now up to Ezra and the board to review the performance of the individuals and the teams. Was I confident going into the, in, in, into the review room? Yeah. Well, I figured there were more variables than getting people just into the stadium. They are the judges. They see everything that uh, is on camera, and if I want to learn, I have to listen to what they're saying. I was feeling uncomfortable uh, coming to the review room because uh, the very last comment that Ezra made to Lebo Hang was, don't put your team members down. They were really busy. They organized a lot of things, but in terms of really making this uh, a task that actually executes on what we gave them mm. and that criteria, I didn't really see that. In order to to be successful in accomplishing whatever goals you set for yourself, mm -hmm. you have to invest a lot of time really thinking through issues. They may have brought in many bums on seat. They've met that objective, mm -hmm. but it's the how they met that, that objective. It was almost chaotic. You cannot be in a leadership position and, and really have no plan. Or, or direct your troops. Overall, compared to the green team, against the criteria that we had given them, they did much better. Yeah. It, it was really more of a coincidence than mm. a concerted mm. effort. Mm. Yeah, it wasn't by design. Yeah. Yes, no, it, it was, was not by point. design. People are passionate about this sport. Absolutely. You've got to deliver the, the value mm. that would help them, help us fill the seats. The idea of you guys being in this show is to demonstrate your entrepreneurial savvy. We want you to show to South Africa and the viewers that you actually have it in you to be successful entrepreneurs. Each challenge is crafted specifically to stretch you guys. There is no challenge that is easy. And at this late stage of the game, it only gets even more challenging because you know what, there's five million rands at stake. None of the teams, in as far as I'm concerned, did exactly what we asked you to do. Very disappointed at some level. Yeah, the orange team, you did manage to get some bums and seeds, but your sales were almost artificial. You raised sponsorship a lot more than it was direct one-on-one -on -one sales. And the idea behind this challenge was to test whether you are able to convince somebody to buy a product from you using value add as a mechanic. Now, when you do go and raise sponsorship, it defeats the object of that. So the sales themselves are artificial. Equally with the green team, you went and raised sponsorship. Sponsorship does not actually give us the opportunity to judge whether or not you can sell by creating a value add. We gave you resources, we gave you stuff that you can use to actually create this value add. Value add is meant for you to persuade somebody to buy a ticket. So the idea of getting sponsorship and using uh, disadvantaged kids to come to the stadium is a noble idea, but it defeats the sales exercise that we wanted to see you guys uh, perform. The bottom line to the challenge on which we were going to judge you on was the number of bums on seats. And to that extent, congratulations to the Orange team. You did a good job. When you are in, in, in a team situation, I expect you to function as teams. I don't expect you to go in your individual routes and plans, which don't speak to the master plan. So that's where I think the gap was with you guys. But having said that, you did manage to get bums on seats. That was the criteria we said we would measure you on. For me, it was about 
focusing on the basics. Once you get the basics right, then you can come with the innovation, you can come with the other groovy stuff, you can, you can, you can grow it. Green team, you had a solid plan. We were excited to see your plan. However, I mean, when you are an entrepreneur and the plan does not work the way that you originally intended to, it's a good thing to navigate around that. Navigate around your obstacles and improvise your plan to get to the final destination. I'm disappointed that you guys didn't show me that you can improvise a good plan and still deliver bombs on seat. When you're working with time constraints as we were, you have to make quick decisions. And elements of your plan that are impractical or cannot be executed within a given amount of time, it only makes sense to focus your energies on the items that you can achieve. With each challenge, we identify the person that um, was outstanding in, in the execution of the challenge. And that person could come from the winning team or from the losing team. We use our own observation as well as yourselves. So individually, you also mention who you believe is the blue chip and who is the, the, the weakest link, as it were. So we use all of that intelligence to decide as to who the person uh, is for this challenge, and that person is dressed for the occasion, Sean Hyde. Congratulations. <laughs> yeah, indeed. Uh huh, exactly what I wanted. This week's blue chip receives a Samsung Galaxy tablet. Can't be in the top six and I have a blue chip. So yes, I do want a blue chip, but on the other hand, the blue chips for me can go to other people. I just want the five million. After the break, we'll announce the two people that are up for review. One of them would have to leave us. And the two people that are up for review are Macy and Gorsi. Macy, it's the third time I have you up for review. And you continue not showing that you can be a productive team player, that concerns me. The idea of you wanting to take the team to Whitbank when in fact it was agreed that you cannot go to Whitbank. It was impractical for you to do that. Let me give you feedback. It was impractical for you to go to, to, go to Whitbank. It really did not augur well with me. I have to make sure that whatever I do, I'm 100% extra careful and I don't know, yeah. The cameras are there anyway to check some of the things. They'll see my effort, what I'll put towards the team. Next person that's up for review is Abongi. Abongi, I'm having you for the second time. That worries me. When you work in a team, you contribute. I don't expect the team to shield you. At this stage, there isn't much of a team. I want to see you as an individual working in a team for the good of the team. I was very disappointed that again, that has not come through. Nobody can shield me, no offense. I'm visible, no matter what you do. That's, that's just what I found. That's why people find me to be uh, arrogant or extroverted when I don't feel I'm any of those things. I'm now going to afford each one of you 30 seconds to convince me why you should not go home. Let's start with you, Macy, starting from now. Yeah. Ezra, whatever I did, I agreed with my team. And the other thing, I've shown my entrepreneurial side. Saturday, I sold 200 tickets. Sunday, I sold more than 100 tickets and I've been selling. And which is, we are here for that, to make sure that we show our entrepreneurial side. So with that, I have no doubt, I might have maybe made mistakes there and there, but whatever that I'm doing, I'm taking it with a, a serious. I want to grow in each and every task that you're giving us. And as I've said before, I'm enjoying the, the challenges that you are giving us, and I'm running with them. The little mistakes that are done, if they've created that gap, 
I may not be able maybe to justify it further than that. Thank you. Thanks. Bongile, you've got 30 seconds to tell me why we should not send you home, starting now. Thank you, Ezra. My team and I worked on a plan which I supported at every facet and made sure that every component of what we ex meant to execute, I was there to execute. At every juncture where we needed to make changes to the plan, I was there. Where I needed to be physically on site to make sure we achieved our goal, I was there. Where I needed to make sure any items that was brought to the front, I was there. Including the component where we almost sold a thousand tickets out of what we were executing, out of our plan. I was there all the way. I'm sorry you did not see that. Thank you. It's confirmed. The board will now make a final decision on who stays and who goes. As you guys know, with every challenge that we have, there's a message and a lesson that we want the viewer to take home. We want the viewer at home to be able to learn through how you guys deal with challenges. Abongile, you did not sell any tickets. Maisi, you sold tickets. In the final analysis, what did I ask you to do? To go and sell tickets so you can do what? Get bums into the stadium. It doesn't matter what your thoughts or your views are about a particular individual. When I give you a task, I give you a task with outputs. I expect you to meet those outputs. And because of that, Abongile. You're leaving us. Thank you. I'm sorry. There's either the business angle or the showmanship angle. And as far as I'm concerned, in my personal view, the showmanship is the weaker angle and the business is the stronger angle. Well, all the best. Thank you. With Township Times? Tetinyani. Tetinyani. That's right. Ngos. Right.